Three world champions at 100 metres meeting together in this final. Another man who's twice won a bronze medal. What a lineup. Well, there's a big crowd here, 50,000 odd people, but there are literally countless millions around the world who no doubt are tuned in to this race in whatever way they can. Four of the five fastest men in history at 100 metres are in this race. The only man missing, Johan Blake. Look forward to him coming back perhaps in the future. There are the nine men. Jimmy Vico, Su Biangtian, Trayvon Bromel, Mike Rogers, Usain Bolt, Tyson Gay, Justin Gatlin, Asafa Powell and Andre de Grasse. That's the field. Sub-10, all of them. Eyes peeled towards the start of the 100 metres. Vico, Su, Bromel, Rogers, Bolt, Gay, Gatlin, Powell, de Grasse. What sort of start will he get? Well, certainly a tremendous start by Gatlin further out and Bolt into his stride now. Those two coming clear of the field now and it's Gatlin and Bolt. And who's going to win it? It's very close, but it's the great man, I think. It's Bolt who's taken it from Gatlin. He's found the speed when he needs it. Who could almost doubt it? We knew it would be close. It was close, but the clock is showing 9.79 and Bolt is celebrating and Gatlin has to yield for the first time for a couple of years. That is arguably the greatest victory we've seen from Bolt because it's the first time he's come into a major global final, not been the favourite and been under huge, huge pressure. You knew he was going to win at 50 metres because his start was OK. It's never a brilliant start, but it was good enough that he was in the hunt and Gatlin felt the pressure. Marvellous run, watch again. He got up, didn't get a great start really, but it was a good start, that's the thing. And you can see at this point of the race, Gatlin I think knows he's in trouble. He's starting to overstride and watch the last 20 metres or so. Look, he's fumbling, he's going all over the place, the arms are not stretching, and he knows when he looked across there that he'd lost it. You knew at 50 metres, Bolt was going to win. And it's the first time this season that Justin Gatlin has been put under pressure. He's had an almost unmatchable series of sub 9 8s. He's been brilliant this year, and it's not as if he completely crumbled in this final because he ran 9.80, but he made 9.77 in the semi final look a lot easier than that. He was tight, he was tense, he knew what was at stake, and maybe. Maybe that's what marks Usain Bolt out above the others, that even though he knows how much is on the line, he still somehow manages to find it and never folds to the pressure.